The modification of a 3D salt printer was a senior design project taken on during the spring and fall semester of 2021. The members of this design team include Benjamin Lapp, Joshua Doctor, John Rafferty, and McKaylee Zilmer. A 3D salt printer can be used to easily manufacture high energy adsorbent salt structures for use in thermochemical absorption systems. Our team took this project over from a previous design team who encountered some resolution and accuracy issues at the end of their project. Our goal was to make modifications to the printer to improve these qualities. Some project constraints were set up by both the project mentors and the senior design team. The first being having the capability to print features less than one millimeter. Next, having the capability to print one layer per minute at a layer height of 0.2 millimeters. Then being able to print with multiple salt compositions, including but not limited to magnesium sulfate or MgSO4. Completing our objectives within the time allotted and completing our objectives within the $2,000 budget we were given. To do this, some areas of improvement were established. The first being binder application, then salt powder application, and then finally the enclosure. However, midway through the project, the enclosure was removed as an area of improvement. This was due to budget constraints and because the enclosure provided by the previous team was already functional. Most major changes to the printer happened to the binder application system. Our team moved away from the syringe design used by the previous team because of its inherent faults, and we instead opted to use an HP45 inkjet printhead. Changing to the printhead also required changes in other parts of the printer, such as movement and control. The control system was changed to an Arduino-based system to control the movement and inkjet systems in series. This required custom controllers as well as a program designed specifically for our printer. The building and testing of this project took up most of our second semester. From getting the printhead integrated into the system, to modifying the build platform and electronics, then testing our system for the first time and manufacturing binder samples, and then finally performing the full system tests. We ran into a lot of issues along the way, but with a little help we were able to push through and create a working product. I would just like to end this by saying a special thank you to both of our advisors, Dr. Fardad Azarmi and Dr. Adam Gladen for guiding us through the, the entire process of this senior design project. I would also like to thank the NDSU Mechanical Engineering Department for giving us the space to work. And I would also like to thank everyone else that helped us along the way. We definitely couldn't have done it without you. So once again, thank you.